Do I have to? Yes, me and Deiji set you up and you agreed. What if he's some creepy weirdo? He's Deiji's friend. Unamused face you're going because I'm tired of you always complaining you're single. Whatever by have from waving hand sign Oikawo looked at his fan slowly spinning as he set his phone down next to him on the bed he wasn't ready to meet someone after what happened last time. Just as he was about to get lost in the past his phone suddenly buzzed sending a vibration through the bed to him Oikawa grabbed his phone to see a message from his best friend Suga you're meeting at blank in an hour winking face oh come on. Slowly slipped his feet off the bed and stood up. The tall boy walked to the closet and grabbed out his favorite sweater and jeans he put his bag over his shoulder as he slipped on shoes hopping to the door. Not my art dot 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 Oikawa walked into a cute little cafe with the classic small, pastel, quiet ascetic you see in romance movies POV I'm sure I won't be finding love like in the movies unamused face out of POV dot Oikawa found a small two-person table next to a window with a beautiful view cafe in Japan wow so pretty. Oikawa breathed as footsteps got closer to his table not my art hey are you, Oikawa? Um yeah when the boy looked up he saw a tall boy with spiked up hair in a blue jacket over a light grey hoodie and beautiful eyes. POV he knows my name? Is this my date? No he's too hot out of POV well I'm Iwajumi Deiji's friend oh well I'm Suga's friend. Were you kinda forced to do this too? Yeah I was but I mean this place is nice it is the boy said sitting across from Oikawa so what are you really looking for? Oikawa felt his heart speed up and pink rush to his cheeks as Iwajumi talked well I mean love really just love period? Well I guess yeah I'm not really sure what I want. They talked and ate for a whole hour learning about each other they cleaned up the table stacking plates and silverware next to the large tip Oikawa left because his date wouldn't let him pay you really didn't have to pay. Well I always do so get used to it you say that life you plan to go out with me more well I mean do you not want to go out again? Oikawa felt his mind go blank life it was melted by the heat radiating off his face when Iwajumi said that well I near no one ever does. He looked down as he slowed his pace. He could feel the other boy's eyes burn into his skin as he looked at him POV he's probably thinking I'm weird great just great out of POV well I guess I'm not everyone then Iwajimi said while looking away from Oikawa and continuing to walk Oikawa looked up surprised the speed up to his date I guess not Oikawa whispered to himself dot 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 a small buzzing went off in Oikawa's pocket he reached in looking at the lit up screen the Iwajimi the shorter boy nodded in understanding and made his way to a seat Oikawa pulled phone across his screen hello Hey Sua Sua what? How was your date with Iwajimi? What do you mean was? Wait. You're still on a date? Well yeah why? It's been life two hours you guys were going to eat and talk for one wait really oh wow you almost done? Oops don't want to stop this smirking face so I'm gonna go Ashuka. The phone beeped as the gray haired boy hung up Oikawa put his phone back as he rolled his eyes and walked to Iwajimi are you gonna have to leave soon or are you still free? Well I most likely have to go my roommate can't cook for 103,779 yen rolling on the floor laughing wow that's kinda sad smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes well by then Oikawa waved as he walked away bye. They both walked home with one thing on their minds POVIWA Chan Oikawa.